Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator motor fan blade in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter-inch nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator motor fan blade. This motor fan blade is located in the freezer compartment behind the cover, mounted on the evaporator fan motor shaft. The evaporator motor fan blade, when the motor is rotating, blows air through the evaporator coils, circulating cold air throughout the entire refrigerator. If the temperature inside the refrigerator is way above normal and the freezer is not cold enough, check the evaporator motor fan blade and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. After we open the freezer door, we need to remove the shelf. Lift up on the left side and push it to the left. Then we're going to lift up the right side and push it to the right, the whole thing. Kind of pull it forward slightly and now we can remove it. Our next step would be using this quarter inch nut driver, removing these screws one on each side. Next I'm going to pull up this uh, tower. And we can take it out. And now we can remove this evaporator motor fan blade. I'm gonna put my fingers behind it and uh, grab it at the back and push it forward and push it against this shaft. Slowly it will come off. This is the old evaporator motor fan blade next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. We're now going to slide uh, the new blade onto the motor shaft. This side first. Place it on the shaft and press it in. Don't go too far, about that much, about quarter of an inch of the shaft would be exposed and the fan blade is uh, about halfway in. And now we're going to install this uh, tower back on. We've got uh, hooks here on the sides, they're going to lock into the cutouts. Lift it up match the holes and also we've got this pin in the bottom press down and everything and now we're going to secure the tower with these couple of quarter inch screws all right now we're going to put this uh, freezer shelf back in and we're going to do it same way i'm going to insert the left side in kind of in the upper position, push it back in, then lower down the right side and slide it forward. And now when we're done, we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.